You know what? I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, why are so many shoes dropping on Thursday? This is crazy. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And I'm not sure what got into the minds of the sneaker brands, but Thursday is going to be packed with sneakers. Let's start with Jordan Brand, who is dropping the Air Jordan 1 Retro High for Black History Month. Now, Finish Line is actually going to have pairs of this shoe, but they will only be available in select stores, and those will cost you $180. Moving into the present, the Nike KD10 is dropping in a black and white colorway. I actually haven't seen a lot of these on the web, but they will cost you $150 for Kevin Durant's latest signature shoe. Not to be left out, Nike has the Air Max 95 for the women in what they are calling a particle rose colorway. Those will cost you 170 and they'll be available at finish line alongside the Air Max 97. The 97 is actually dropping in the exact same colorway and those are 170 as well. If you're into that pinkish color, these are very nice pickup. All right, moving on, Nike has a trifecta of Vapor Max sneakers dropping for the weekend. First up is the Anthracite pair. They will be available at finish line. Those will cost you 190 If you're looking for a more utilitarian version of the Vapor Max, they have the Vapor Max utility dropping in the College Navy colorway. Those will cost you 225 And finally, going back to the Flyknit Vapor Max. Nike is dropping the Black History Month version of the shoe as well. As expected, it has highlights in red, black, and green, and those will cost you $205 over at Finish Line. All right, jumping over to Adidas or Adidas, they are celebrating the five year anniversary of Boost with a triple pack of sneakers. Finish Line is going to have the Ultra Boost, the new Energy Boost, and the old school, or I guess I shouldn't say old school, but the original Energy Boost that released five years ago. All three pairs of the shoes are based in black with a few colors to highlight. The original Energy Boost is going to cost you $150. The newer Energy Boost, uh, or I should say redesigned Energy Boost, is going to cost you $160. And finally, the Ultra Boost for the five year anniversary pack is going to cost you $220. Now, Finish Line will have all three pairs of the shoes as I said before however they will not be available online you have to go to your local finish line store or call them to see if they will have pairs available cool 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 so sticking with Adidas they have released a basketball version of the EQT these have been getting a little bit of love online and it looks like the new version of the shoe will be dropping in a carbon and a gray colorway over the weekend for those that want this lifestyle slash basketball version of that classic sneaker those will cost you 120 the sneaker cushioning wars well they've officially begun in my mind and this weekend Under Armour is jumping into the mix with the hover fan they are releasing pairs for both men and women in a few different colors and each features the new hover cushioning with that mid-cut running shoe. Prices for those are $130. You can grab them over at Finish Line starting on Thursday. Okay, now that we have Thursday out of the way, let's jump into Friday's releases. First stop, we have the Under Armour Curry 4 dropping in this black and red colorway. Under Armour has, telling some, has been telling some cool stories on the upper of this shoe, and you can grab these for $130. For the ladies out there, Reebok is switching up the freestyle high a little bit with some muted colorways. Uh, these, there are two colorways available. There's pink and sandstone, and each of those will cost you $85 when they release on Friday over at Finish Line. Air Max has and always will be a big part of Nike heritage, and this weekend they're dropping some original colorways of some of their older sneakers from the 90s. First up is the Air Max 93 dropping in the OG colorway for men and women. That one's gonna cost you 130. Uh, next up is the Nike Air Max 180. That one also dropping in the OG colorway for men and women. And that one will cost you $130 as well. On the newer sneaker side, Nike is dropping the Air Max 270. This is a brand new silhouette from the brand and they're dropping in four colorways and I can't wait to get my hands on a pair of these. Those will cost you 150. And rounding out the Nike drop from Friday, we have the Hyper Adapt 1.0 in the Wolf Gray colorway. These are, as you know, quite expensive at $720 and they'll be available on Friday, probably through the Nike draw. Jumping ahead to Saturday, well, we have the one shoe that Jordan brand is dropping. It's the Air Jordan 6 Chinese New Year. These are dope. Finish line is gonna have pairs of this shoe available as well. However, they will only be available in select stores. So make sure you check your local store before going in to cop a pair. Those will cost you $250. All right, so that's gonna do it for the show today. As always, I just wanted to cover the things that I thought you guys would definitely care about. Uh, so make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I talked about in the video today. I am Jock Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I wanna say, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.